What's up guys, my name is Cody and in today's video we're going to be talking about the top three things that you should not do in Madden 18 on the defensive side of the football. Okay guys, so um, the reason that we're doing this video is essentially to help you guys get better at Madden through elimination. Uh, one of the things that I've probably made a big mistake of on my channel in the past is I have talked too much about what to add instead of what to remove. Okay. And, and I'm really starting to become a big believer in that it's not about what you do, it's about what you don't do. And the, the, so what I want to do is I want to talk for just about five minutes on the top three things that you should not do in Madden 18. So the, the first thing that you should not do in Madden 18 when you're talking about defense is run more than one formation. One run more than one formation. So you should limit your formation, at least at the beginning of the season, to one and one alone. Okay, so you're going to use the same formation on on uh, the goal line. You're going to use the same formation on first down, second down, third down, fourth down. The only exception to that rule is if it's a quarterback sneak situation and you want to use a goal line or something like that. That's the only exception. But by and far, I would try to, again, 99% of the time, only use one formation. Okay, so that's, the, that's one of the biggest things. Do not use more than one formation on defense. The second thing is do not user more than one player on defense. You want to use the same player every single time. Uh, if you watch my videos, I always use her the guy in the middle linebacker. Every single time, that's who I use her. The reason I do this um, is a couple of reasons. The first one is that it's the most, it's 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 the highest frequency area. So I can cover a lot of ground in the middle of the field. The second, and, and I think the most important, is because it forces the defense it forces the defense to go elsewhere. If they know I'm in the middle of the field, they're normally going to try to attack the outside of the field. And the other thing uh, about it is it provides consistency to your defense because if you're only user, if if you if you don't use her more than one player, then what happens is that now a lot forces you to make the rest of your defense stronger instead of just thinking, oh well, I'll use it with my user player. Okay, so do not use her more than one player. Um, you, or excuse me, do not use her more than one player at one specific spot. So you want to be in the same spot every single time. The The second thing, or the, the final tip that I wanted to give you, and probably the most important, I'm going to talk about it a little bit, is do not use more than four to five plays a game. So this entire game, I'm winning 31 to, 31 to zero. I have used Tampa 2 the entire game. And it, it is just, the reason it works, guys, is because it, if your fastball is good, it makes your changeup that much better. Okay? Uh, if, you're, if your jab is good, it makes your right hook that much stronger. And that's why I say a lot of people don't limit their play calling. You need to limit your play calling to, and, I, and I'm actually talking about, um, a little bit bigger picture I'm talking about four plays period like you don't like like hot routing is not a thing you know what I mean like you have predetermined in your playbook okay I have these four plays I know that if he runs a post route you know if, if he's attacking the middle of the field then I want to use this coverage if he's attacking the outside of the field then I want to use this coverage if he's a you know that's how you kind of know and if it's if it's my base here's my Here's my base play. This is what I want to use. And, and you just go down that, that list. And what that's going to allow you to do by, by forcing yourself to only have four plays, what it does is it makes those four plays really, really strong. And you don't have to be paralyzed by trying to do too many things at one time. When you're playing the game, you want to be playing the game, not analyzing the game. Uh, and in my opinion, that's one of the biggest things that I've learned the hard way uh, because I like the analyzing part. I like breaking the game down. I love it. It's one of my favorite things about the game. The problem is when you're actually playing the game, it's not very effective for you to continue to do that. So when, you, when you're playing the game, you want to be playing the game. Focus on one thing at a time. That's why you want to eliminate using a lot of plays. You want to force it down to one formation and four to five plays only, okay? And I'm telling you, if you force yourself, you can be very effective by doing that.
okay? Uh, and then one last bonus tip, one last bonus thing that you should not do, you should not do, is is you should not blitz more than more than um, in my opinion you sh you should not blitz more than 75% of the time so at for every for every possession for every or, or not possession but but series of downs every p series of downs you get to blitz three times and then you you can't blitz the fourth time okay so, so for every four downs, you can only blitz three of those. And in my opinion, you can actually work to get it down even more than that. The reason is because blitzing is valuable, but blitzing is only valuable when you do it at the right time. If you do, if you blitz every time, you're screwed because they're going to know exactly what you're doing. So that's why you want to limit those blitzes to critical times, critical moments in the game when you need something to happen. Now, that's not to say, when I say blitz, I mean blitz more than, more than, um, three people. So if you're blitzing more than three people, um, in my opinion, you, you can only do that 75% of the time. You should not do that any more, any more than that. Uh, in my opinion, you, you just shouldn't. Because here's the thing. Um, here, here's here's kind of the big the big picture of all this. So when you're playing defense, the offense is is trying to figure out what you're doing, and they're trying to attack. What you're doing so they're going to have trying to run routes they're going to get open against your defense the reason that that is important for you to know is because defensively your job is to create tendency okay so tendency is is critical because what tendency is going to allow you to do is it's going to is allow you to throw a change up so you need to establish it's like in pitching um, so when you're pitching, what you what a lot of people will do when if they're if they're a good pitcher, what they'll do is they'll they'll do what they call setting up the hitter. Okay, so they'll throw a fastball here, or they'll throw something here, or there, or whatever, and what that's what that does is it forces the uh, it forces the batter to to just kind of commit. And the problem with that is once the batter kind of plans on something, then the then then the uh, the pitcher can change up exactly what he does. Okay, so so the reason I that was probably a very poorly explained uh, thing there, but what I'm trying to get after is when you're playing Madden, especially on defense, it's the same kind of thing. You're trying to force him to say, okay, well I know this route's going to be open at a critical time. So like right there, that was a complete complete checkmate from him so i've been running cover two the whole game i go to cover three i went to cover three too many times there i went to cover three two times in a row ended up getting burned and he scored so again those are some of the things it's it's about what not to do not about what to do uh, especially when you're talking about defense so to recap the first thing that you should not do is have more than one formation when you're playing defense unless it's a quarterback sneak situation uh, where it's like fourth and inches and he's trying to quarterback sneak. The second thing that you should not do is user more than one player uh, the entire game. So you want to keep the same exact user player the entire game. And the reason you want to do that is because it forces, again, establishes tendency, establishes repetition, and it forces the opponent to try to figure out, okay, how am I going to beat this guy? If he's going to take away the middle of the field, I recommend the middle linebacker. Um, if he takes away the middle of the field, then what now can I even do? Um, you know, and then I have to go to the outside. And if your outside defense is good, uh, all of a sudden this becomes a really, really valuable uh, thing to focus on. The third thing and the final thing that you should not do is have more than four to five plays that you call consistently. And again, consistently is every single play. So the, out of the amount of uh, every adjustment, so like in cover two, I have two setups for cover two. If I'm running cover three, I have two setups for cover three. And that's how I do it. That's that's how I, I do this whole thing right here. So again, that's my four plays. And that's pretty much it. I have one other play. I actually have five. I have those, those four versions. And then I have a cover four, but I literally use the cover four in like goal line situations only. I barely, very rarely do I use that, um, but that's when I do use it. 
So anyways, guys, just wanted to share this with you, get this video to you, and talk to you about the top three things not to do in Madden 18. If you like this video, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. That way you're going to be notified whenever we go live, whenever we have different content that's going to be interesting for you to check out. Thanks, guys. And